I'm Karen Larson and here are your evening headlines. Voters in several precincts discovered issues when they showed up to fill out their ballot. The Tulsa County Election Board tells us that ballots for Precinct 91 near 56 and Memorial were delivered to the wrong location. A handful of people left without voting, but the board says they did return later. The problem was taken care of in about 20 minutes. And over at Will Rogers Methodist Church in Midtown, the doors were locked for several hours. Voters had to cast their ballots from the trunks of cars that were parked near 11th and Yale. They were able to open the doors around 9. Poll workers say 154 people voted outside at those vehicles before they were able to move the precinct inside. The polls close at 7 tonight. A Democratic candidate for U.S. Congress in Oklahoma is apologizing for sabotage. Retired college professor Tom Guild removed his opponent's yard signs and now he's admitting it was a mistake. He released a statement after a video of him taking the signs was posted on social media over the weekend. Guild is one of six Democrats running in the 5th Congressional District. Republican Steve Russell currently holds the seat. It was a stormy afternoon, especially north of the Tulsa area. As we move on into the evening hours, just a slight chance of an isolated shower or storm across the area. But as we move into the nighttime hours, mainly quiet. We're going to see a warm night ahead with partly cloudy skies. Temperatures going to drop into the mid to upper 70s. So it's going to be a warm and humid start to our Wednesday morning, down to 77 here in Tulsa, also in the McAllister area. And as we move on through the day, what we're going to see is mostly sunny skies and temperatures warming well into the 90s, mid 90s off to the east of the city. 98 expected tomorrow afternoon here in Tulsa. 90 97 Bartlesville, out around Stillwater, 97 as well in Oklahoma City. Then you factor in the humidity tomorrow. Our future track heat index values anywhere between 105 and 110. So it's going to be not only hot, but extremely humid. So that's going to push those heat index values into the dangerous category. That's why we have a heat advisory that goes into effect tomorrow at 105 at 1 p.m. Last until 9 p.m. That's to look at your weather.